Please just turn around there. The people want to see you. Did you know, here on our farm, we got the world's largest chicken in the world and the world's smallest chicken? Who knew? What's up, playa? What's going on, guys? How y'all digging the umbrella? I saw all y'all up under. Good morning? Huh? Miss. What's going on, Tommy? Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Hey, Mama Duck, you still sitting on them eggs, girl? Can't be that much longer, can it? Huh? I hear you. I'm not gonna mess with you. You need to quit puffing. All right, let's see what we got going on in the brooder. See how these babies are doing. Good morning, you blue egg laying chicks. Why well, say all blue? They're not all blue egg layers. We're good, except you got it nasty. <clears throat> Let's clean that out. Now, y'all check out the Muscovies fussing. Muscovies don't quack. So if you want a quiet duck, Muscovies would be your best bet. Who we got in here? Ha 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 ha. Starlight's head hits the roof. I see Starlight's head hitting the roof in there. We got a lot of attention when we recently posted a picture of Mary Carl and Starlight and Tony on Instagram and Facebook. And so I thought, you know what? Let's talk about these guys because Starlight is a Brahma. Mm -hmm. He's a light Brahma. A light Brahma. And that is the world's largest chicken breed mm -hmm. is the light brahma well any brahma any brahma you but got light brahma and dark brahma i don't have but i have a bam buff brahma uh-huh so what colors they come in buff uh-huh light uh -huh. dark he's so big now tony right here is a sarama which is the world's smallest chicken breed so we have both we have the biggest chicken in the world, and we have the smallest chicken in the world. Both of them are extremely sweet. We don't we don't keep any mean roosters around here. Watch this. And this is what they're known for. Saramas are known to bow that. Look at that. Look at him. They're no <laughs> this is what they're known for. They're known for the puffing out and just that big chest and, and making it stand out. Now, Tony come from a, a chicken show. We went to a a Bantam chicken show and they had a Sarama um, show going on or Sarama competition and that's what they do they put them on the judges table and they make them strut and bow that chest out and they, and they do this little dance and they just get down and whoever can do it the best and just looks you know just so confident and proud is usually the winner and if you always look at Tony he's always you know holding that head back and that chest up. We love Tony. Now Tony used to have a mate. We had a Sarama hen named Sugar, but she recently passed away about, you know, a few months ago. So we will be on the lookout for a Sarama hen for Tony in the near future. But right now, Tony is flying solo. Well, he hangs out with everybody else. Yeah. Our experience with the Brahmas are extremely docile. They're so friendly. I've uh, never had an issue at all with a Brahma. Um, they are big. They're big chickens. So they, they probably do eat a little bit more than your normal chicken. And they're okay layers. They will lay eggs. But if you're looking for something that's going to lay a bunch of eggs, like your hybrids now, or like a Rhode Island Red, or a Bard Rock, or a Naked Neck. Marons the, lay a lot. Marons. 
um, the Brahma is just not gonna lay that many eggs like them. But if you want a cool looking chicken that's extremely friendly, that's gonna turn some heads, the Brahma is for you. He's about the size of your hand. He is little. Stein's Look at them side by side. There they are, look at there. <laughs> look at the difference. Tony's the size of his leg. That is crazy. And, Star and Tony's leg is the size of his Starlight's cone. Yeah, he is. He's a big boy. You wanna go put him back up? Yeah. And these guys live together. No issues at all. And people ask, people have been asking us about how do we have such tame roosters? Um, we spend a lot of time with our chickens, as y'all can tell in our videos. And if we see any rooster that has any aggression towards other chickens or towards us, then we rehome them. We just get rid of them. Uh, we just, we just, um, we don't keep any mean animals here. Everybody gets along because for the most part, almost all these animals are our pets. All right, guys, let's go put y'all back up. Unless you want them to chill out here for a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna rain today. That's why we don't have them out. All right, we'll get them. Come on, Tony. All right, little man. Starlight, you might have to eventually live with the big chicken. You might have to live with the big chicken. That's what's funny is Starlight hangs in here with the bantams. With the bantams. Thomas, I'm gonna tell you, buddy. Starlight is about the same size as you, brother. Oh, I forgot to mention about Starlight. Starlight is not that old. He's five months old. So he is not through growing by all means. He doesn't even have any spurs yet. He just started crowing just a, a week or two ago. So he is way from growing. I'm gonna, um, gonna plant some flowers today. Spruce up the place. When I get finished, I want you to come down here and look at it and see what you think. I may have to shift some stuff around, something like that. But yeah, we're gonna do some hanging baskets and we'll make the place look pretty for you. And so we got several hanging baskets. We're gonna hang them on the poles in the garden area. Mrs. Cockhill and Mary Carl went to our most favorite nursery the other day and that is Petals from the Past. And they picked up some flowers to plant in our baskets now. We got a good friend that works there, Tracy, and she's got a YouTube channel called Just Dig It Farm. I'll put a link to her channel right down below in the description of this video. She is an expert when it comes to gardening, especially roses, cottage style gardening. She knows her stuff. So These are the roses that I'm going to be planting today in my medicinal herb garden. I have chosen Katie Road Pink, Old Blush. This one is Hansa. It hasn't bloomed yet, but it's about to. It's a Ragosa Rose. And but what they came up with for our hanging baskets, Milia Bells. These Milia Bells will just get big and drape and hang over and be beautiful. And they got this kind of a fuchsia type hot pink color. Uh, matter of fact, it's called hot pink. And the other one they got is a lighter pink like this, and we're gonna mix the two together. garden house i planted some fuchsia love 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 fuchsia one of our favorite plants just love it it's awesome the blooms are beautiful and down here i got begonias chickens don't like begonias so if you got a free range situation or you got you want to plant some flowers where chickens are look at begonias now one other thing y'all know about my hydrangea garden for the most part if you're new to my channel i had this beautiful hydrangea garden right here and these will be blooming um in the next couple of months we got an oak leaf hydrangea already blooming this is probably my favorite hydrangea i love this hydrangea but i got this beautiful antique urn it's cast iron so i've been wanting to put something in it 
when Mary Carl and Mrs. Cocky went to pedal from the past, they got me something to go in here. One of my most favorite plants, and that is hostas. I love hostas. The only issue with hostas is chickens absolutely love hostas. I'm hoping since it's kind of high and there's really nowhere to perch on it, they're not going to mess with my new hosta. Now this is guacamole. I loved the color and I thought it may be a little contrast compared to the green leaves of the hydrangeas. I'm going to put some creeping genie around the bottom of it like this and this will trail on down the sides and both these are shade loving plants. This is going to be beautiful. Really, really beautiful. This creeping genie will fill this whole bottom in and start to drape over the sides. And this hosta will get huge, really big. Got some silky sitting. Yeah, and then there's a... Is anybody sitting on these? No. You want to hatch those? Mm-hmm. Okay. And these are purebred silky eggs here. Yeah, we don't know what color they're going to be. I mm -hmm. have... You separated your silkies. Mm -hmm. And so you are um trying to... uh. Had you some 100% silkies, and you got this is a chocolate. What color is this one called? That's partridge. That's a partridge. Yeah. And that's one you wanted for a long time, and mm -hmm. just recently got a few months ago. There's your white one. And there's the buff. And there's a paint in here. Yeah, she's behind the buff. And that's a non-bearded. See, there's no boof. That's just a white. And this is a bearded. See, it's got all the foo-foo on it. That's the difference in the silkies between a bearded and a non-bearded silky. Okay. You want to go put them in the incubator? Okay. You going to put them in the uh, the 1502 GQF big one, or are you going to put it in the little one? I'm going to put it in the little one. All right. We are in the chick nursery. And you write... With a pencil or a crayon. With a pencil or crayon on your eggs because eggs are porous. And you're writing the date and what it is. Date and silky. And how long before they hatch? 21 days. 21 days. And you're, we're using in here this GQF Hover Baiter 2370. And so far, we're loving this incubator. GQF makes such great products. We've been using GQF for years. making any noise it's picking is it really hard <laughs> this is the method i use oh mama said that you recently got a chicken i have never heard of yeah it's it What's lays it a super dark egg. Uh -huh. I think this is how you say it. I know it's Creole Pendant Scotta or something like that. Creole. We'll, we'll put the name of it yeah. in this video so you can see it. It lays a super, super dark egg and loves the heat. And Alabama's yeah. got plenty of it. So if you if you if you live in a hot area wanting a cool chicken that lays a cool egg, Check that breed out. It's new to us, never heard of it. So we're super excited about it. Well, which one's it? The big stretchy ones with the little yellow dot on their head. Okay, I got you. So that's it. Wow. It's a pretty chicken. It's a Creole, which is that certain type of color. And yeah, it's kind of kind of like a mix. A Creole typically looks like it's mixed between like five chickens. Oh, where's the little Tony baby? There's this one. And this is Tony, who y'all just saw, the world's smallest chicken. This is one of his babies. Don't know who the mama is, do we? I do. It's oh. Sally. Oh, Sally. Sally with the long legs. And this one is a silver duckling. Mix okay. With Tony. This one is going to look very similar to what a Sarama is going to look like because a silver duckwing is a pretty small chicken and looks a lot like a Sarama hen. It's like cloverleaf. Right. Yeah, cloverleaf's the rooster. Yeah. But the hen has this pattern. Sometimes they change patterns, but okay. that's what the hen's pattern looks like. Got gotcha. you. But you can see that little black chicken is so much smaller than the rest of them, and he's actually older than the rest of them. Uh huh. Thank you guys. Y'all are still sending us these awesome tags. And we got a Missouri tag, 
We got a U.S. Army Alabama tag. And we got a California tag. One of Mary Carl's fans sent her these awesome chicken signs from Perina. And she also handmade her a flamingo doll. And this lady is so talented. Check out her Instagram account. I'll put it down below. And y'all be sure to tell her that Mary Carl over at Cog Hill sent you that way. By the way, Mary Carl loved the Missouri tag because it had a bluebird on it. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so, so much for the signs and the tags. We sure do appreciate it. Oh my gracious, Button. You reckon all quail like to be rubbed under their chin like that? <laughs> or should I say Button Quail, who you told me is not a quail, is a hemopode. <laughs> <laughs> My gracious. Oh, Button. Hey, Boots. Hey, Boots. Let's see that belly. Oh, girlfriend. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Tip? How many babies you think Bootsy's gonna have, Tipper? Hmm. Hey guys, if you are interested in any Cog Hill Farm gear, like our hats or our shirts, check out that link right down below me. Also, I put a couple of videos on this side right over here. Think you may like them. Check them out. And as always, y'all be good.